core of the UK constitution is the doctrine of parliamentary sovereignty. Now, that puts ultimate authority in the hands of the UK parliament. What does that mean? It means that parliament can't be bound by other institutions. It can't be bound by its predecessors, by the decisions taken by a previous parliament, and nor can it bind the parliaments to come in the years ahead. Now, that has one particular advantage in that it allows for flexibility. It allows the UK constitution to evolve in light of politics, in light of life experiences, in, life, in light of cultural change. Um, and that is quite distinctive in some ways from constitutions that are much more codified and written down in single documents. Often the, one of the most controversial aspects of a constitutional document of that kind is how you change it, how you amend it. And often there is an amending formula. In some countries that are quite diverse, that might require um, a certain number of regions of the country to agree to any change or a certain percentage of the population uh, to agree to any change. And that can make change quite difficult. On the other hand, uh, we might think that that also um, offers some protections and perhaps the limitation um, of UK parliamentary sovereignty is that it doesn't necessarily afford protections from decisions that may be taken by parliament that are seen to threaten or undermine uh, the rights uh, enjoyed by some citizens.